nothing to be done. I'm beginning to come round to that opinion. All my life I've tried to put it from me, saying, Vladimir, be reasonable. You haven't yet tried everything. And I resume the struggle. So there you are again. Am I? I'm glad to see you back. I thought you were gone forever. Me too. Together again at last. We'll have to celebrate this. But how? Get up till I embrace you. Not now, not now. May one inquire where His Highness spent the night? In a ditch. A ditch? Where? Over there. And they didn't beat you? Beat me? Certainly they beat me. The same lot as usual. The same? I don't know. When I think of it, all these years. But for me, where would you be? You'd be nothing more than a little heap of bones at the present minute, no doubt about it. And what of it? It's too much for one man. On the other hand, what's the good of losing heart now? That's what I say. We should have thought of it a million years ago in the 90s. Ah, stop blathering and help me off with this bloody thing. Hand in hand, from the top of the Eiffel Tower among the first. We were presentable in those days. Now it's too late. They wouldn't even let us up. <coughs> what are you doing? Taking off my boot. Did that never happen to you? Boots must be taken off every day. I'm tired telling you that. Why don't you listen to me? Help me. It hurts. Hurts? He wants to know if it hurts. No one ever suffers but you. I don't count. I'd like to hear what you'd say if you had what I have. It hurts. Hurts. <laughs> he wants to know if it hurts. You might button it all the same. True. Never neglect the little things of life. What do you expect? You always wait till the last moment. The last moment. Hope deferred maketh the something sick. Who said that? Why don't you help me? Sometimes I feel it coming all the same. Then I go all queer. How shall I say relieved? And at the same time, appalled. Appalled. Funny. Nothing to be done. Well, nothing. Show. There's nothing to show. Try and put it on again. I'll air it for a bit. There's man all over for you. Blaming on his boots the faults of his feet. This is getting alarming. One of the thieves was saved. It's a reasonable percentage. Go, go. What? Suppose we repented. Repented what? Oh, we don't have to go into the details. Our being born. <laughs> A dreadful privation. Nearly smile. It's not the same thing. Nothing to be done. Go, go. What is it? Did you ever read the Bible? The Bible? Well, I must have taken a look at it. Do you remember the Gospels? I remember the maps of the Holy Land. Colored they were. Very pretty. The Dead Sea was pale blue. The very look of it made me thirsty. That's where we'll go, I used to say. That's where we'll go for our honeymoon. We'll swim. We'll be happy. You we'll... should have been a poet. I was. Isn't that obvious? Where was I? How's your fortune? Swelling visibly. Ah, yes, the two thieves. 
Do you remember the story? No. Shall I tell it to you? No. It passed the time. Two thieves crucified at the same time as our Savior. One... Uh, what? Our Savior. Two thieves. One is supposed to have been saved and the other... Damned. Saved from what? Hell. I'm going. And yet, how is it? This is not boring you, I hope. How is it? And of the four evangelists, only one speaks of a thief being saved. The four were there, or thereabouts. But only one speaks of a thief being saved. Come on, go, go, return the ball, can't you, once in a way? I find this really most extraordinarily interesting. One out of four. Of the other three, two don't mention any thieves at all. And the third says that both of them abused him. Who? What? Well, what's all this about? Abused who? The Savior. Why? Because he wouldn't save them. From hell? Imbecile from death. Well, what of it? Then the two of them must have been damned. And why not? But one of the forces that one of the two was saved. Well, they don't agree, and that's all there is to it. But all four were there, and only one speaks of a thief being saved. Why believe him rather than the others? Who believes him? Everybody. It's the only version they know. People are bloody, ignorant apes. Charming spot. Inspiring prospects. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Goddard. Ah, yes. You're sure it was here? What? That we were to wait. He said by the tree. Do you see any others? What is it? I don't know. A willow. A where of the leaves. It must be dead. No more weeping. Or perhaps it's not the season. Well, it looks to me more like a bush. A shrub. A bush. A th what are you insinuating? That we've come to the wrong place? He should be here. He didn't say for sure he'd come. And if he doesn't come? We'll come back tomorrow. And then the day after tomorrow. Possibly. And so on. The point Until he comes. You're merciless. We came here yesterday. Ah, uh, no. There. Your mistake. What did we do yesterday? What did we do yesterday? Yes. Why? Nothing is certain when you're about. In my opinion, we were here. You recognize the place. I didn't say that. Well? But that makes no difference. All the same. That tree. That stone. That... You're sure it was this evening? What? That we were to wait? He said Saturday. I think. You think? I must have made a note of it. But what Saturday? And is it Saturday? Is it not rather Sunday? Or Monday? Or Friday? It's not possible. Or Thursday? What do we do? If he came yesterday and we weren't here, you may be sure he won't come again today. But you said we were here yesterday. I may be mistaken. Yes, but... Let's stop talking for a minute, do you mind? All right. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go! 
I was asleep. Why will you never let me sleep? I felt lonely. I had a dream. Don't tell me. I don't, don't tell me. This one is enough for you? It's not nice of you, Dee Dee. Who am I to tell my private nightmares to if I can't tell them to you? Let them remain private. You know I can't bear that. There are times when I wonder if it wouldn't be better for us to part. You wouldn't go far. Well, that would be too bad. Really too bad. Wouldn't it, Dee Dee, be really too bad? When you think of the beauty of the way and the goodness of the wayfarers, wouldn't it, Dee Dee? Calm yourself. Calm. Calm. Oh, the English say calm. You know the story of the Englishman in the brothel? Yes. Tell it to me. Stop it. An Englishman, having drunk a little more than usual, proceeds to a brothel. The board asks him if he wants a fair one, a dark one, or a red-haired one. Go on, stop it! You wanted to speak to me. You had something to say to me? Dee Dee? I have nothing to say to you. You're angry? Forgive me. Come, Dee Dee, give me your hand. Embrace me, don't be stubborn. You stink of garlic. It's for the kidneys. What do we do now? Wait. Yes, but while waiting. What about hanging ourselves? Hmm. It might give us an erection. An erection? With all that follows. Where it falls, mandrakes grow. But that's why they shriek when you pull them up. Did you not know that? Let's hang ourselves immediately. From a vow? I wouldn't trust it. We can always try. Go ahead. After you. No, no, you first. Why me? You're lighter than I am. Just so. I don't understand. Use your intelligence, can't you? I remain in the dark. This is how it is. The vow. The bell. Don't use your head, can't you? You're my only hope. Go, go light. Bow not break. Go, go dead. Deedy heavy. Bow break. Deedy alone. Whereas I hadn't thought of that. If it hangs you, it'll hang anything. But am I heavier than you? So you always tell me. I don't know. There's an even chance. Or nearly. Well, what do we do? Oh, let's do anything. It's safer. Let's wait and see what he says. Who? Gado. Ah, yes. Let's wait till we know exactly how we stand. Well, on the other hand, it might be better to strike the iron before it freezes. I'm curious to hear what he has to offer. Then we'll take it or leave it. Uh, what exactly did we ask him for? Were you not there? My kind of been listening. Oh, nothing very definite. A kind of prayer. Precisely. A vague supplication. Exactly. And what did he reply? That he'd see. That he couldn't promise anything. That he'd have to think it over. In the quiet of his home. I'll consult his family. His friends. His agents. His correspondence. His book. His bank account. Before taking a decision. It's a normal thing. Is it not? I think it is. I think so too. And we? I beg your pardon? I said, and we? I don't understand. Where do we come in? Come in? Take your time. Come in. On our hands and knees. As bad as that? Your worship wishes to assert his prerogatives. We've no rights anymore. <laughs> no, no, 
You'd make me laugh if it wasn't prohibited. We've lost our rights. We got rid of them. We're not tied. We're not... Listen. I hear nothing. Nor I. You gave me a fright. I thought it was he. Who? Gado. Ah. The wind in the reeds. I could have sworn I heard shouts. And why would he shout? At his horse. Let's go. Where? Perhaps we'll sleep tonight in his loft. All snug and dry, our bellies full in the hay. That's worth waiting for. No? Not all night. It's still day. I'm hungry. Do you want a carrot? Is that all there is? I might have some turnips. Give me a carrot. It's a turnip. Oh, pardon. I could have sworn it was a carrot. Oh, now, all that's turnips. You must have eaten the last. Wait. I have it. There, dear fellow. Give me the turnip. Make it last. That's the end of them. I asked you a question. Huh? Uh, did you reply? How's the carrot? It's a carrot. So much the better. So much the better. What was it you wanted to know? I've forgotten. That's what annoys me. Ah, yes, now I remember. Well? We're not lying. I don't hear a word you're saying. I'm asking you if we're tied. Tied? Tired. Uh, how do you mean? Tired. Down. But to whom? By whom? To your man. To Gado. Tied to Gado? What a question. <laughs> no question about it. <laughs> the moment. His name is Gordo? I think so. Ah, yes. Funny. The more you eat, the worse it gets. With me, it's just the opposite. In other words? I get used to the muck as I go along. Is that the opposite? Question of temperament. Of character? Nothing you can do about it. No use struggling. One is what is one what is. No use wriggling. The essential doesn't change. Nothing to be done. Like to finish it. Be careful. He's wicked. We're strangers. Is that him? Who? Um, Gardo. Yes. I present myself. Pazzo. Not at all. He said Gardo. Not at all. You're not Mr. Gardo, sir? I am Pazzo. Does that name mean nothing to you? I say, does that name mean nothing to you? What's hot so? What's hot so? What's hot so? Ah, hot so. Uh, let me see. Pot so. Is that pot so or bot so? Pot so. Uh, 
no. Uh, no, I'm afraid I... No, I don't see... I that. once knew a family called Gotso. The mother had the clap. <laughs> oh, we're not from these parts, sir. You are human beings, nonetheless. As far as one can see. Of the same species as myself. Of the same species as Pato. Made in God's image. Yet you see... Who is God done? Godo. You took me for Godo? Oh, no, sir. Not for an instant, sir. Who is he? Well, he's kind of an acquaintance. Nothing of the sort. We hardly know him. True, we don't know him very well, but all the same. But personally, I wouldn't even know him if I saw him. You took me for him. Well, um, that's to say, you understand the dusk, the strain, waiting. I confess, I imagine for a second... Waiting? So, you were waiting for him. Well, you see... Here, on my lap. We didn't intend any harm. We meant well. The road is free to all. That's how we looked at it. It's a disgrace! But there you are. Nothing we can do about it. Let's say no more about it. Up, pig! Every time he drops, he falls asleep. Up, home, back. Stop. Turn. Gentlemen, I'm happy to have met you. Yes, yes. Sincerely happy. Close up. Stop. Yes, the road seems long when one journeys all alone for, yes, six hours, that's right, six hours on end. Never a soul in sight. Come! Hold that! Autumn in the air this evening. What? Yes, gentlemen, I cannot go for long without the society of my likes. Even when the likeness is an imperfect one. with your permission. I propose to dally with you a moment before I venture any further. Basket! <clears throat> Fresh air stimulates the jaded appetite. <laughs> Basket! What ails him? He looks tired. Why doesn't he put down his bags? How do I know? Oh, careful! Say something to him. Look! What? His neck. Oh, my son! A running sore. It's the rope. It's the rubbing. It's inevitable. It's the knot. It's the chafing. 
He's not bad looking. Would you say so? A trifle effeminate. Look at the slobber. It's inevitable. Look at the slaver. Perhaps he's a halfwit. <laughs> a cretin. He looks like a goiter. It's not certain. He's panting. It's inevitable. And his eyes. What about them? Goggling out of his head. Looks at his last gasp to me. It's not certain. Ask him a question. Would that be a good thing? What do we risk? Mr. Louder. Mr. Leave him in peace! Can't you see he wants to rest? Basket! Basket! That's better. Please, sir. What is it, my good man? Uh, you finished with the, uh... You don't need the bones, sir? You couldn't have waited. No, no, he does well to ask. Do I need the bones? No, personally, I don't need them anymore. But, but in theory, the bones go to the carrier. He's therefore the one to ask. But go on, go on, ask him. Don't be afraid. He'll tell you. Mister. Excuse me, mister. You're being spoken to, pig. Reply. Try him again. Excuse me, mister. The bones? You won't be wanting the bones. <laughs> mister! Reply! Do you want them or don't you? They're yours. I don't like it. I've never known him refuse a bone before. Nice business it'd be if he felt sick on me. It's a scandal! Are you alluding to anything in particular? Well, to treat a man like that, I think that... No. A human being... No. It's a scandal. A disgrace. You are severe. What age are you, if it's not a rude question? Sixty? Seventy? What age would you say he was? Ageless. I am impertinent. I must be getting on. Thank you for your society. Unless I smoke a pipe before I go, what do you say? I'm only a small smoker, a very small smoker. It makes my heart go pitter-pat. It's the nicotine. One absorbs it in spite of one's precautions. You know how it is. But perhaps you don't smoke. Yes? No? It's of no importance. But how am I to sit down now without affectation, now that I have risen? Without appearing to, how shall I say, without appearing to falter? I beg your pardon. Or perhaps you didn't speak. It's of no importance. Let me see. Ah, that's better. Let's go. So soon? One moment. Stool. More. There. Done it. Let's go. I hope I'm not driving you away. Wait a little longer, you'll never regret it. We're in no hurry. I'm going. Think twice. 
before you do anything rash. Well, suppose you go now while it is still day. Well, there's no denying it is still day. Good. What happens in that case to your appointment with this uh, Gade, Gado, Gadin? Anyhow, you see who I mean. Who has your future in his hands, at least your immediate future. Who told you? He speaks to me again. If this goes on much longer, we'll soon be old friends. Why doesn't he put down his bags? Well, I too would be happy to meet him. The more people I meet, the happier I become. From the meanest creature, one departs wiser, richer, more conscious of one's blessings. Even you, even you, who knows, will have added to my store. Why doesn't he put down his bags? But that would surprise me. You're being asked a question. A question? Who? A moment ago, you were calling me sir in fear and trembling, and now you're asking me questions? No good will come of this. I think he's listening. What? You can ask him now. He's on the alert. Ask him what? Why he doesn't put down his bags. I wonder. Ask him, can't you? You want to know why he doesn't put down his bags, as you call them? That's it. You are sure you agree with that? Oh, he's puffing like a grandpa's well, The answer is this. Oh, be still a moment, I beg of you. You're making me nervous. Here. Yeah. What is it? He's about to speak. Good. Uh, is everybody ready? Is everybody looking at me? Will you look at me, pig? Good. <clears throat> I'm ready. <clears throat> is everybody ready? Is everybody listening? Hog! I don't like talking in a vacuum. Good. <clears throat> well, what was I saying? I'm going. Uh, what was it exactly you wanted to know? Why he does... Don't interrupt me! Now, if we all speak at once, we'll never get anywhere. Well, what was I saying? What was I saying? Bags. Why? Always hold, never put down. Why? Ah, why couldn't you say so before? Why he doesn't make himself comfortable? Let's try and get this clear. Has he not the right to? Certainly he has. It follows that he doesn't want to. There's reasoning for you. And why doesn't he want to? Gentlemen, the reason is this. Make a note of this. He wants to impress me so that I will keep him. What? No, perhaps I haven't got it quite right. He wants to uh, mollify me so that I would give up the idea of parting with him. No, that's not exactly it either. You want to get rid of him? He wants to cut me, but he won't. You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see how well he carries, I would be tempted to keep him on in that capacity. You've had enough of him? In reality, he carries like a pig. It's not his job. You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see him indefatigable, I would regret my decision. Such is his miserable scheme, as though I were short of slaves. Atlas! Son of Jopitos! That's that, I think. Anything else? You want to get rid of him? Remark that I might just as well have been in his shoes and he in mine, if chance had not fated otherwise. To each one his due. I beg your pardon. I do. But instead of driving him away as I might have done, I mean, instead of simply kicking him out on his ass, in the goodness of my heart, I'm bringing him to the fair, where I hope to get a good price for him. But the truth is, you can't drive such creatures away. Now, the best thing would be to kill them. He's crying. Old dogs have more dignity. Here, comfort him, since you pity him. Come on, wipe away his tears. He'll feel less forsaken. Oh, 
Here, give it to me. I'll do it. Make haste before he stops. <laughs> the swine is crippled me. Pancake! Show. Oh. I told you we didn't like strangers. He's bleeding. It's a good sign. He stopped crying. You have replaced him, as it were. The tears of the world are a constant quality. For each one who begins to weep, somewhere else another stops. And the same is true of the laugh. Ha, ha, ha! Let us not then speak ill of our generation. It is not any unhappier than its predecessors. Let's not speak well of it either. Let's not speak of it at all. It is true the population has increased. Will night never come? Guess who taught me all these beautiful things? My lucky. But for him, all my thoughts, all my feelings would have been of common things. Professional worries, beauty, grace, truth of the first water. I knew they were all beyond me, so I took a knook. Knook? That was nearly 60 years ago. Yes, nearly 60. You wouldn't think it to look at me, would you, compared to him? I look like a young man, no? him away. Such an old and faithful servant. Swine. Or after having sucked all the good out of him, now you chuck him away like a, like a banana skin. Really? I can't bear it any longer the way he goes on. You've no idea. It's terrible. He must go. I'm going mad. I can't bear it any longer. He can't bear it. Any longer? He's going mad. It's terrible. How dare you? It's abominable. Such a good master. Crucify him like that after all these years? Really? He used to be so kind, so helpful and entertaining. My good angel. And now he's killing me. Does he want to replace him? I don't know. Ask him. Gentlemen. <clears throat> I don't know what came over me. Forgive me. Forget all I said. I don't remember exactly what it was, but you may be sure there was not one word of truth in it. Do I look like a man that can be made to suffer? Frankly. What, what can I have done with my pipe? Charming evening we're having. Unforgettable. And it's not over. Apparently not. It's only beginning. It's awful. Worse than the pantomime. The circus. The music hall. The circus. What can I have done with that briar? <laughs> <laughs> He's a scream. He's lost his dudeen. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll be back. End of the corridor on the left. Keep my seat. I've lost my cap and Peter sir. He'll be the death of me. You didn't see by any chance. Oh, he's gone without saying goodbye. He might have waited. How could he? He would have burst. Oh, well, of course, in that case. Come here. What for? You'll see. You want me to get up? Quick. Look. Oh, I say. It's all over.
He's not pleased. You missed the treat? Pity. He subsides. Indeed, all subsides. Great calm descends. Listen. Pan sleeps. Don't feel like going until it does. Oh, well, you see... Why, it's very natural, very natural. I myself, in your situation, if I had an appointment with this... Uh, uh, Gardine, Gadot, Gadette, uh, anyhow you see who I mean, I'd wait till it was black night before I gave up. Very much like to sit down now, but I don't quite know how to go about it. Could I be of any help? If you ask me, perhaps. What? If you ask me to sit down. Would that be a help? I fancy so. Here we go. Be seated, sir, I beg of you. No, no, I wouldn't think of it. Ask me again. Come, come, take a seat, I beseech you. You'll get pneumonia. You really think so? Why, it's absolutely certain. No doubt you are right. Thank you, my good man. But I really must be getting along now if I'm to observe my schedule. Time has stopped. Don't you believe it, sir? Don't you believe it? Whatever you like, but not that. Everything seems black to him today. Except the firmament. <laughs> I see what it is. You're not from these parts. You don't know what our twilights can do. Shall I tell you? I can't refuse you. Um, what was I saying? Let's go. Ah, yes, the night. Look. Will you look at the sky, pig? Good, that's enough. What is there so extraordinary about it? Qua sky. It is pale and luminous like any sky at this time of day, at this time of year, in these latitudes when the weather is fine, an hour ago, roughly, after having poured forth ever since, say, ten o'clock in the morning, tirelessly torrents of red and white light, it begins to lose its effulgence, to grow pale, pale, ever a little paler, a little paler, until, poof, finished, it comes to rest. But behind this veil of gentleness and peace, Night is charging and will burst upon us. Pop. Just like that. Just when we least expect it. And that's how it is on this bitch of an earth. So long as one knows. One can bide one's time. One knows what to expect. No further need to worry. Simply wait. We're used to it. How did you find me? Good. Fair. Middling? Poor? Positively bad. Oh, very good. Very, very good. And you, sir? 
Oh, Trey Bong, Trey, Trey Bong. Bless you, gentlemen, bless you. I have such need of encouragement. Oh, I weakened a little toward the end. You didn't notice. Oh, perhaps just a teeny-weeny little bit. I thought it was intentional. See, my memory is defective. In the meantime, nothing happens. You find it tedious? Somewhat. And you, sir? I've been better entertained. Gentlemen, you've been civil to me. Not at all. What an idea. Yes, yes, you've been correct. So that I ask myself, is there anything I can do in my turn for these honest fellows who are having such a dull, dull time? Even ten francs would be a help. We're not beggars. Is there anything I can do to cheer them up? That's what I ask myself. Even, Even the bones, I've talked to them about this and that. I've explained the twilight, admittedly. But is it enough? That's what tortures me. Is it enough? Even five. That's enough. I couldn't accept less. Is it enough? No doubt. But I'm liberal. It's my nature. This evening. So much the worse for me. For I shall suffer, no doubt about that. Well, what do you prefer? Shall we have him dance, or sing, or recite, or think, or... Who? Who? You know how to think, you too? He thinks? Certainly. Aloud! He even used to think very prettily once. I could listen to him for hours. So much the worse for me. Well, would you like him to think something for us? Yes, I'd rather he dance. It'll be more fun. Not necessarily. Wouldn't it, Dee Dee? Be more fun? I'd like, well, to hear him think. Perhaps he could dance first and think afterwards, if it isn't too much to ask him. Would that be possible? By all means, uh, nothing simpler. It's the natural order. Then let him dance. Dance, misery! Is that all? Encore! <laughs> I do as well myself. <clears throat> With a little practice. He's tired. Hey! He used to dance the farandou. Fling, the brawl, the jig, the fandango, and even the hornpipe. He capered for joy. Now, that's the best he can do. You know what he calls it? The net. He thinks he's entangled in a net. Nothing happens. Nobody comes. Nobody goes. It's awful. Tell him to think. Give him his hat. His hat? He can't think without his hat. Give him his hat. Me? After what he did to me? Never. I'll give it to him. Tell him to go and fetch it. It's better to give it to him. I'll give it to him. must put it on his head. Tell him to take it. It's better to put it on his head. I'll put it on his head.
What's he waiting for? Stand back. Pig! Pig! Stop! Forward! Stop! Think! On the other hand, we're Stop! as uttered forth in the public works of Puncher and Watman of a personal god, qua, 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 with white beard, qua, 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 outside time, without extension, who from the heights of divine apathia, divine athambia, divine aphasia, loves us dearly with some exceptions for reasons unknown. But time will tell. And suffers like the divine Miranda with those who for reasons unknown but time will tell are plunged in torment, plunged in fire, whose fire flames, if that continues, and who can doubt it will, fire the firmament, that is to say, blast hell to heaven! So blue, still, and calm, so calm, with a calm, which even though intermittent is better than nothing, but not so fast. And considering what is more, that as a result of the labors left unfinished, crowned by the Academy of Anthropopometry, of Essie and Posse, of Testu and Canard, it is established beyond all doubt, all other doubt, than that which clings to the labors of men, that as a result of the labors unfinished of Testu and Canard, it is established as here and after, but not so fast for reasons unknown, that as a result of the public works of Puncher and Watman, it is established beyond all doubt, then in view of the labors of Fartoff and Belcher, left unfinished for reasons unknown of Testu and Canard, left unfinished, it is established what many deny, that man in posse of Testu and Canard, that man in Essie, that man in short, that man in brief, in spite of the strides of alimentation and defecation, wastes and pines, wastes and pines, and concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, in spite of the strides of physical culture, the practice of sports, such as tennis, football, running, cycling, swimming, flying, flying, Floating, riding, gliding, canading, kimoji, skating, tennis of all kinds, dying, flying, sports of all sorts, autumn, summer, winter, winter, tennis of all kinds, hockey of all sorts, penicillin and shukadania. In a word, I resume, flying, gliding, golf over nine and eighteen holes, tennis of all sorts. In a word, for reasons unknown, in feck em, peck em, pull em, clap em, namely concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, but time will tell, fades away. I resume, pull em, clap em. In a word, the dead lost per head since the death of Bishop Barclay, being to the tune of one inch four hundred per head, approximately by and large, more or less, to the nearest decimal good measure round figures, stark naked in the stocking feet in Connemara. In a word, for reasons unknown, no matter what matter, the facts are there. And considering what is more, much more grave, that in the light of the labors lost of Steinweg and Peterman, it appears what is more, much more grave, that in the light, the light, the light of the labors lost of Steinweg and Peterman, that in the plains, in the mountains, by the seas, by the rivers, running water, running fire. The air is the same, and then the earth, namely the air, and then the earth, and the great cold, the great dark, the air and the earth, a boat of stones in the great cold. Alas, alas! In the year of their Lord, 600 and something, the air, the earth, the sea, the earth, a boat of stones in the great deeps, the great cold on sea, on land, and in the air, I resume for reasons unknown. In spite of the tennis, the facts are there, but time will tell, I resume. Alas, alas! On, on, in short and fine. On, on, a boat of stones. Who can doubt it? I resume, but not so fast. I resume the skull fading, 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 and concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, in spite of the tennis, on, on, the beard, the flames, the tears, the stones, so blue, so calm, alas, alas, on, on, the skull, the skull, the skull.
Over skull and Connemara, in spite of the tennis, the labor's abandoned, left unfinished grave is still a boat of stone. In a word, I resume, alas, alas, abandoned, unfinished, the skull, the skull and Connemara, in spite of the tennis, alas, the skull, the stones, canard, tennis, the stones, so call them canard, unfinished! <laughs> Avenged. Give me that. There's an end to his thinking. But will he be able to orientate himself? I'll orientate him. Up, pig. Perhaps he's dead. You kill him. Up. Help me! How? Raise him up! He's doing it on purpose. You must hold him! Come on! Come on! Raise him up! To hell with him! Come on! Come on! Once more! What does he take us for? Come on! Don't let him go. Don't move. Hold him tight. <laughs> Don't let him go. Hold him tight. Now you can let him go. Forward! Back! Turn! Done it. He can walk. Gentlemen, let me wish you, let me wish you, uh, wish you, what can I have done with my watch? A genuine half-hunter gentleman with deadbeat escapement. It was my grandpapa gave it to me. Well, oh, perhaps I dropped it. Well, now, isn't that just... Perhaps it's in your fob. Wait. I hear nothing. Come and have a listen. Surely one could hear the tick tick silence. I hear something. Where? It's the heart. Ugh, damnation. Silence. Perhaps it has stopped. Which of you smells so bad? He has stinking breath and I have stinking feet. I must go. And your half hunter? I must have left it at the manor, on the Steinway. Then adieu. 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 And thank you. Thank you. Not at all. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. I don't seem to be able to, to depart. Such is life. You're going the wrong way. I hear you're running. Stop. Stand back. On! 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 Faster! 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 Stool! 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 Up! Pig! On! 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 
Adieu. 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 the time. It would have passed in any case. Yes, but not so rapidly. What do we do now? I don't know. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Gado. Ah, uh, yes. How they've changed. Who? Those two. That's the idea. Let's make a little conversation. Haven't they? What? Changed. Very likely. They all change. Only we can't. Likely? It's certain. Didn't you see them? Well, I suppose I did, but I don't know them. Yes, you do know them. No, I do. We know them, I tell you. You forget everything. Unless they're not the same. Why didn't they recognize us, then? That means nothing. I, too, pretended not to recognize them. And then nobody ever recognizes us. Forget it. What we need... Ow. Ow. Unless they're not the same. Dee Dee, it's the other foot. they're not the same. Mister? Off we go again. Approach, my child. Mr. Albert? Yes? What do you want? Approach. Approach when you're told, can't you? What is it? Mr. Gatto. Obviously. Approach. Will you approach? What kept you so late? You have a message. From Mr. Gardo. Yes, sir. Well, what is it? What kept you so late? Let him alone. You let me alone. Do you know what time it is? It's not my fault, sir. And whose is it? Mine. I was afraid, sir. Afraid of what? Of us? That's on me! I know what it is. He was afraid of the others. How long have you been here? A good while, sir. You're afraid of the whip? Yes, sir. The roars? Yes, sir. The two big men? Yes, sir. Do you know them? No, sir. Are you a native of these parts? Do you belong to these parts? Yes, sir. That's all a pack of lies. Tell us the truth! But it is a true, sir. Will you let him alone? What's the matter with you?
What is the matter with you? I'm unhappy. Not really. Since when? I've forgotten. Extraordinary the tricks that memory plays. I've seen you before, haven't I? I don't know, sir. You don't know me? No, sir. It wasn't you came yesterday? No, sir. This is your first time? Yes, sir. Words. Words. Speak. Mr. Gatto told me to tell you he won't come this evening, but surely tomorrow. Is that all? Yes, sir. You work for Mr. Gatto? Yes, sir. What do you do? I mind the goats, sir. Is he good to you? Yes, sir. He doesn't beat you? No, sir. Not me. Whom does he beat? He beats my brother, sir. Ah, you have a brother. Yes, sir. What does he do? He minds the sheep, sir. Why doesn't he beat you? I don't know, sir. He must be fond of you. I don't know, sir. Does he give you enough to eat? Does he feed you well? Fairly well, sir. And you're not unhappy? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Well? I don't know, sir. You don't know if you're unhappy or not? No, sir. You're as bad as myself. Where do you sleep? In the loft, sir. With your brother? Yes, sir. In the hay? Yes, sir. All right. You may go. What am I to tell Mr. Gatto, sir? Tell him. Tell him that you saw us. You did see us, didn't you?
What are you doing? Pale for weariness. Eh? Of climbing heaven and gazing on the likes of Your boots. What are you doing with your boots? I'm leaving them there. Another will come just as... as... as me, but with smaller feet, and they'll make him happy. But you can't go barefoot. Christ did. Christ? What has Christ got to do with this? You're not going to compare yourself to Christ. All my life I've compared myself to him. And but where he lived, it was warm, it was dry. Yes, and they crucified quick. You've nothing more to do here. Nor anywhere else. Oh, go, go. Don't go on like that. Tomorrow, everything will be better. How do you make that out? Did you not hear what the child said? No. He said, Gado is sure to come tomorrow. Now, what do you say to that? And all we have to do is to wait on here. Are you mad? We must take cover. Come on. Pity we haven't got a bit of rope. Come on. It's cold. Remind me to bring a bit of rope tomorrow. Yes. Come on. How long have we been together? All the time now. I don't know. Fifty years, perhaps. Do you remember the day I threw myself into the row? We were grape harvesting. You fished me out. No good harking back on that. My clothes dried in the sun. Come on. Wait. I'm cold. I sometimes wonder if we wouldn't have been better off alone. Each one for himself. We weren't made for the same road. Not certain. No, nothing is certain. We can still part if you think it would be better. It's not worthwhile now. No, it's not worthwhile now. we go? Yes. Let's go.
A dog came in. <clears throat> a dog came in the kitchen and stole a crust of bread, then cook up with the ladle and beat him till he was dead. Then all the dogs came running and dug the dog a tomb. Then all the dogs came running and dug the dog a tomb and wrote upon the tombstone for the eyes of dogs to come. A dog came in the kitchen and stole a crust of bread. Then cook up we hit the ladle and beat him till he was dead. Then all the dogs came running and dug the dog a tomb. Then all the dogs came running and dug the dog a tomb. And dug the dog a tomb. You again. Come here till I embrace you. Don't touch me. Do you want me to go away? Go, go. Did they beat you? Go, go. Where did you spend the night? Don't touch me. Don't question me. Don't speak to me. Stay with me. Did I ever leave you? You let me go. Look at me. Will you look at me? What a day. Who beat you? Tell me. Another day done with. Not yet. For me, it's over and done with, no matter what happens. I heard you singing. That's right. I remember. That finished me. I said to myself, he's all alone. He thinks I'm gone forever. And he sings. One is not master of one's moods. All day, I felt in great form. I didn't get up in the night, not once. You see, you piss better when I'm not there. I missed you. And at the same time, I was happy. Now, isn't that a queer thing? Happy? Perhaps it's not quite the right word. And now? Now? Well, there you are again. There we are again. There I am again. You see, you feel worse when I'm with you. Well, I feel better alone, too. Then why do you always come crawling back? I don't know. No, but I do. It's because you don't know how to defend yourself. I wouldn't have let them beat you. Well, you couldn't have stopped them. Why not? There was ten of them. No, before they beat you. I would have stopped you from doing whatever it was you were doing. I wasn't doing anything. Then why did they beat you? I don't know. Oh, go, go. The truth of the matter is, there are things escape you that don't escape me. You must feel it yourself. I tell you, I wasn't doing anything. Perhaps you weren't. But it's the way of doing it that counts. The way of doing it. If you want to go on living. But enough about that. There you are back. And there I am. Happy. But I wasn't doing anything. Oh, you must be happy, too. Deep down. If you only knew it. It's happy about what? To be back with me again. <laughs> Would you say so? Say you are, even if it's not true. What am I to say? Say, I am happy. I am happy. So am I. So am I. We are happy. We are happy. What do we do now, now that we're happy? Wait for Gado. Oh, uh, yes. Things have changed here since yesterday. And if he doesn't come? We'll see when the time comes. I was saying, things have changed here since yesterday. Everything oozes. Look at the tree. It's never the same pass from one second to the next. The tree! Look at the tree! Was it not there yesterday? Oh, yes, of course it was there yesterday. Do you not remember? We all but hanged ourselves from it. That's right. All but hanged ourselves. But you wouldn't. 
Do you not remember? You dreamt it. Is it possible you've forgotten already? Well, that's the way I am. Either I forget immediately, or I never forget. And Pozzo and Lucky, have you forgotten them too? Pozzo and Lucky? He's forgotten everything. I remember a lunatic who kicked the shins off me, then he played the fool. That was Lucky. I remember that. But when was it? And his keeper. Do you not remember him? He gave me a bone. That was Pozzo. And all that was yesterday, you say? Yes, of course it was yesterday. And here, where we are now? Where else do you think? Do you not recognize the place? Recognize? What is there to recognize? All my lousy life I've crawled about in the mud and you talk to me about scenery? Look at this muck heap! I've never stirred from it. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. You and your landscapes. Tell me about the worms. All the same. You can't tell me that this bears any resemblance to the Macon country, for example. You can't deny there's a big difference. The Macon country? Who's talking to you about the Macon country? But you were there yourself in the Macon country. No, I was never in the Macon country. I've puked my puke of a life away here, I tell you, here in the Caton country. We were there together. Now, I could swear to it. Picking grapes for a man called... I can't think the name of the man. At a place called... I can't think the name of the place. Do you not remember? It's possible. I didn't notice anything. But down there, everything is red. I didn't notice anything, I tell you. You're a hard man to get on with, Gogo. It'll be better if we parted. You always say that, and you always come crawling back. Well, the best thing would be to kill me, like the other. What other? What other? Like billions of others. To every man his little cross till he dies and is forgotten. In the meantime, let us try and converse calmly. Since we are incapable of keeping silent. You're right. We're inexhaustible. It's so we won't think. We have that excuse. It's so we won't hear. We have our reasons. All the dead voices. They make a noise like wings. Like leaves. Like sand. Like leaves. They all speak at once. Each one to itself. Rather, they whisper. They rustle. They murmur. They rustle. What do they say? They talk about their lives. To have lived is not enough for them. They have to talk about it. To be dead is not enough for them. It is not sufficient. They make a noise like feathers. Like leaves. Like ashes. Like leaves. Say something. I'm seeking. Say anything at all. What do we do now? Wait for Gardo. Ah, uh, yes. This is... Awful. Seeing something. No. No. We could start all over again, perhaps. That should be easy. It's the start that's difficult. Well, you can start from anything. Yes, but you have to decide. True. Help me. I'm seeking. When you seek, you hear. You do. That prevents you from finding. It does. That prevents you from thinking. Well, you think all the same. No. No, impossible. That's the idea. Let's contradict each other. Impossible. You think so? We're in no danger of ever thinking anymore. Well, then what are we complaining about? Thinking is not the worst. Perhaps not, but at least there's that. That what? That's the idea. Let's ask each other questions. What do you mean, at least there's that? That much less misery. True. Well, if we gave thanks for our mercies. What is terrible is to have thought. But did that ever happen to us? Where are all these corpses from? Skeletons. Tell me that. True. We must have thought a little. At the very beginning. A charnel house. A charnel house. Oh, you don't have to look. You can't help looking. True. Try as one may. I beg your pardon? Try as one may. We should turn resolutely towards nature. We've tried that. True. Oh, it's not the worst I know. What? To have thought. Obviously. But we could have done without it. Que voulez-vous? I beg your pardon? Que voulez-vous? Ah, que voulez-vous? Exactement.
Well, that wasn't such a bad little canter. Yes, but now we'll have to find something else. Let me see. 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 Ah! Well? What was I saying? We could go on from there. But what were you saying when? At the very beginning. At the very beginning of what? This evening. I was saying... I was saying... But I'm not a historian. Wait. We embraced. We were happy. Happy. What do we do now that we are happy? Go on waiting. Waiting. Let me think. It's, it's coming. Now that we are happy, go on waiting. Let me see. Ah! The tree! The tree? Do you not remember? I'm tired. Look at it! I see nothing. But yesterday evening it was all pale and bare, like a skeleton. Now it's covered with leaves. Leaves? In a single night. It must be the spring. But in a single night? I tell you, we weren't here yesterday. Another of your nightmares. And where were we yesterday evening, according to you? How would I know? In another compartment. There's no lack of void. Good, we weren't here yesterday evening. Now, what did we do yesterday evening? Do. Try and remember. Do. Well, I suppose we blathered. About what? Oh, this and that, I suppose. Nothing in particular. Yes, now I remember. Yesterday evening, we spent blathering about nothing in particular. That's been going on now for half a century. You don't remember any fact, any circumstance? Don't torment me, Dee Dee. The sun, the moon, do you not remember? Well, they must have been there as usual. You didn't notice anything out of the ordinary? Alas. And Pozzo and Lucky. Pozzo? The bones. They were like fish bones. It was Pozzo gave them to you. I don't know. And the kick? That's right, someone gave me a kick. It was Lucky gave it to you. And all that was yesterday? I show your leg. Which? Both. Pull up your trousers. Pull up your trousers. I can't. The other. The other pig. Ah! And there's the wound <laughs> beginning to fester. And what about it? Where are your boots? I must have thrown them away. When? I don't know. Why? I don't know why I don't know. No, I mean, why did you throw them away? Because they were hurting me. There. There they are. At the very spot you left them yesterday. They're not mine. Not yours. Mine were black, these are uh, brown. You sure yours were black? Well, they were a kind of gray. And these are brown. Show. Well, they were a kind of uh, green. Show. Yeah. Oh, well, of all... You see, all that's a lot of bloody... Uh, I see what it is. I see what's happened. All that's a lot of bloody... It's elementary. Someone came and took yours and left you his. Why? His were too tight for him, so he took yours. But mine were too tight. For you, not for him. I'm tired. But let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Gardo. Ah, uh, yes. What'll we do? What'll we do? There's nothing we can do. But I can't go on like this. Do you want a radish? Well, is that all there is? There are radishes and there are turnips. Are there no carrots? No. Anyway, you overdo it with your carrots. Give me a radish. It's black. It's a radish. I only like the pink ones, you know that. Then you don't want it? I only like the pink ones. Then give it back to me. I'll go and get a carrot. This is becoming really insignificant. Not enough. What about trying them? I've tried everything. No, I mean the boots. Would that be a good thing? It passed the time. I assure you it'd be an occupation. A relaxation. A recreation. A relaxation. Try. You'll help me? I will, of course. <laughs> we don't manage too badly, eh, Dee Dee? Between the two of us. Yes, yes. Come, let's try the left first. We always find something, eh, Dee Dee, to give us the impression we exist. Yes, yes, we're magicians. But let us persevere in what we've resolved before we forget. Give me your foot. The other hog. Higher. Try and walk. Well, it fits. We'll try and lace it. No, no, no laces, no laces. You'll be sorry. Let's try the other.
Well, it fits too. They don't hurt you. Not yet. Then you can keep them. They're too big. Perhaps you'll have socks someday. Mm. Then you can keep them. Well, that's enough about these boots. Yes, but... Enough. I suppose I might as well sit down. That's where you were sitting yesterday evening. If I could only sleep. Yesterday you slept? I'll try. Wait. Bye, Not bye. Not so loud. Bye, 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 bye. There, there. Dee Dee's there. Don't be afraid. There, there. It's all over. I was falling. It's all over. It's all over. I was on top of the... Don't tell me. Come. We'll walk it off. Listen up on time. You'd rather be stuck there doing nothing? Yes. Please yourself. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Gatto. Ah, uh, yes. Can you not stay still? I'm cold. We came too soon. It's always at nightfall. But night doesn't fall. It'll fall all of a sudden like yesterday. And then it'll be night. And then we can go. And then it'll be day again. What do we do? What do we do? Will you stop your whining? I've had about my belly full of your lamentations. I'm going. Well, you'll never see me again. Lucky's hat. I've been here an hour and never saw it. Oh, fine. Farewell. I knew it was the right place. Now our troubles are over. <sighs> Must have been a very fine hat. Here. What? Hold that. How does it fit me? How would I know? No, I mean... How do I look at it? It is. Not more so than usual? Neither more nor less. Good, then I can keep it. Mine irked me. Well, how shall I say it itched me? But I'm going... Oh, will you not play? Play at what? We could play at Pazzo and Lucky. Never heard of it. I'll do Lucky, you do Pazzo. What am I to do? Curse me. Naughty. Stronger. Gonococcus Spirichet. Oh, tell me to think. What? Say, think, pig! Think, pig! 
I can't. That's enough of that. Well, tell me to dance. That's enough of that. Say, dance hard! I'm going. I can't. Go, go! There you are again at last. I'm a curse. Where were you? I thought you were gone forever. To the foot of the rise, they're coming. Who? I don't know. How many? I don't know. It's Gardo. Oh, at last. Go, go. It's Gardo. We'll be saved. Let's go meet him. Go, go. Come back. There you are again, again. I'm in hell. Where were you? To the foot of the rise. No doubt. We are on a plateau. Served up on a plateau. They're coming there too. We're surrounded. <gasps> Imbecile. There's no way out there. There. That's your only hope left. Not a soul in sight. Off you go. Quick. You won't? Oh, I can understand that. Let me see. Your only hope left is to disappear. Where? Behind the tree. Quick! Behind the tree! Decidedly, this tree will not have been the slightest use to us. I lost my head. Forgive me. It won't happen again. Tell me what to do. There's nothing to do. You go and stand there. There, don't move, and watch out. Back to back, like in the good old days. Do you see anything coming? What? Do you see anything coming? No. Nor I. You must have had a vision. What? You must have had a vision. No need to shout. Do you? Oh, pardon. Uh, carry on. No, no, after you. No, no, you first. I interrupted you. On the contrary. Ceremonious ape. Punctilious pig. Finish your phrase, I tell you. Finish your own. Moron. That's the idea. Let's abuse each other. <laughs> Moron. Vermin. Abortion, Morpian, Sewerat, Curate, Cretan, Critic! Oh. Now let's make it up. Go, go. D, D. Your hand. Take it. Come to my arms. Your arms. My breast. Off we go. Mm. Time flies when one has fun. What do we do now? While waiting? While waiting? We could do our exercises. Our movements. Our elevations. Our relaxations. Our elongations. Our relaxations. To warm us up. To calm us down. Off we go. Oh, that's enough, I'm tired. We're not in form. Oh, how about a little deep breathing? <sighs> I'm tired breathing. Let's just do the tree for the balance. The tree? Your turn. Do you think God sees me? You must close your eyes. God have pity on me! And me! On me! On me! Pity on me! What is it? Who is it?
Is it Gordo? At last! Reinforcements! At last! Oh, is it Gordo? We were beginning to weaken. Now, we're sure to see the evening out. How? We're no longer alone. Waiting for the night, waiting for Gatto, waiting for... Waiting. All evening we've struggled unassisted. And now, it's over. It's already tomorrow. How? Time flows again already. The sun will set, the moon rise, and we away from here. Okay. Poor Pazzo. I knew it was him. Who? Gatto. But it's not Gatto. It's not Gatto? It's not Gatto. Then who is it? It's Pazzo. Here, here, help me up! He can't get up. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Gatto. Oh, yes. Perhaps he has another bone for you. Bone? Chicken. Do you not remember? It was him? Yes. Ask him. Perhaps we should help him first. To do what? To get up. He can't get up? He wants to get up. Then let him get up. He can't. Why not? I don't know. We should ask him for the bone first. Then, if he refuses, we'll lead him there. You mean we'll have him at our mercy? Yes. And that we should subordinate our good offices to certain conditions? Yes. That seems intelligent, all right. One thing I'm afraid of. What? Lucky might get going all of a sudden, and we'd be bollocksed. Lucky? The one that went for you yesterday. I tell you, there was ten of them. No, before that, the one that kicked you. Oh, is he there? As large as life. For the moment, he's inert. He might run amok any minute. Help! And suppose we gave him a good beating, the two of us. You mean, if we fell on him in his sleep? Yes. That seems like a good idea, all right? But could we do it? Is he really asleep? The best thing would be to take advantage of Pazzo's calling for help. In anticipation of some tangible return. And suppose he... But let us not waste time in idle discourse. Let us do something while we have the chance. It's not every day that we are needed. And not indeed that we personally are needed. Others would meet the case equally well. If not better. To all mankind they were addressed. Those cries of help still ringing in our ears. But at this place, at this moment of time, all mankind is us. Help! Whether we like it or not. Let's make the most of it. Before it's too late, let us represent worthily for once a foul brood to which a cruel fate consigned us. What do you say? It is true. That when with folded arms we weigh the pros and cons, we are no less a credit to our species. The tiger bounds to the help of his congeners without the least reflection, or else he slinks away into the depths of the thickets. But that's not the question. What are we doing here? That is the question. And we are blessed in this that we happen to know the answer. Yes, in this immense confusion, one thing alone is clear. We are waiting for Gatto to come. Ah, uh, yes. Or for night to fall. We have kept our appointment, and that's an end to that. We're not saints, but we have kept our appointment. How many can boast as much? Billions. You think so? I don't know. You may be right. Help. All I know is that the hours are long under these conditions and constrain us to beguile them with proceedings which... 
How shall I say? Which may at first sight seem reasonable. Until they become a habit. Or you may say it is to prevent our reason from foundering. No doubt. But has it not long been straying in the night without end to the abyssal depths? That is what I sometimes wonder. You follow my reasoning? We are all born mad. Some remain so. Help! I'll pay you. How much? One hundred francs. It's not enough. I wouldn't go so far as that. You think it's enough? No, I mean so far as to assert that I was weak in the head when I came into the world. But that's not the question. Two hundred. We wait, we are bored. No! Don't protest. There's no denying it. We are bored to death. Good. A diversion comes along, and what do we do? We let it go to waste. Come. Let's get to work. In an instant, all will vanish, and we'll be alone once more in the midst of nothingness. Two hundred! We're coming. What's the matter with you all? Help. I'm going. Don't leave me. Where am I? Go, go. Help, help. I'm going. Help me up first, and we'll go together. You promise? I swear it. And we'll never come back? Never. We'll go to the Pyrenees. Wherever you like. <gasps> I've always wanted to wander in the Pyrenees. You'll wander in them. Who fought it? Uh. Pazzo. Here, here, pity. It's revolting. Quick, give me your hand. I'm going. I'm going. Well, I suppose in the end I'll get up by myself. In the fullness of time. What's the matter with you? Go to hell. Are you staying there? For the time being. Come on, get up. You'll catch a chip. Don't worry about me. Come on, Dee Dee. Don't be pig-headed. Up. Pull. Help! Well, we've arrived. Who are you? We are... Men. Sweet Mother Earth. Can you get up? I don't know. Try. Not now, not now. What happened? How oh, will you stop it, you pest? He can think of nothing but himself. What about a little snooze? Did you hear him? He wants to know what's happened. Don't mind him. Sleep. Pity! What? Pity! What it? Oh, it's this bastard Pato at it again. Make him stop it. Kick him in the crotch. Will you stop it, you crab louse? <laughs> oh. 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 Lucky. He's up. Lucky. What do we do now? Perhaps I can call to him. Yes, call to him. Pazzo, Pazzo. Together. Pazzo, Pazzo. 
We might try him with other names. It'd be amusing. What'd it be amusing? To try him with other names, one after the other. It'd pass the time and we'd be bound to hit on the right one sooner or later. But I tell you, his name is Pazzo. We'll soon see. Let's see. Abel! Abel! Oh, got it in one. I begin to weary of this motif. Perhaps the other is called Cain. Cain! Cain! Oh! He's all humanity. <clears throat> Look at the little cloud. Where? There, in the zenith. Well, what is there so wonderful about it? Well, let's pass on now to something else. Do you mind? I was just about to suggest it. But to what? Ah. Uh, suppose we got up to begin with. No harm trying. Child's play. Simple question of willpower. And now? Help! Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Gardo. Ah, uh, yes. What'll we do? What'll we do? Help! What about helping him? Well, what does he want? He wants to get up. Then why doesn't he? He wants us to help him to get up. Then why don't we? What are we waiting for? He's doing it on purpose. We must hold him. Feeling better. Who are you? Do you not recognize us? I am, am blind. Blind? Perhaps he can see into the future. Blind? Since when? I used to have wonderful sight. Expand, expand. Let him alone. Can't you see he's thinking of days when he was happy? Memoria preteritorum bonorum. That must be unpleasant. Quite wonderful. And it came on you all of a sudden? I woke up one fine day as blind as fortune. Sometimes I wonder if I'm not still asleep. When was that? I don't know. But no later than yesterday. Don't question me! The blind have no notion of time. The things of time are hidden from them too. Well, just fancy that. I could have sworn it was just the opposite. Where is my menial? Uh, he's about somewhere. Well, why doesn't he answer when I call? I don't know. He seems to be sleeping. Perhaps he's dead. Go and see, is he hurt? Oh, we can't leave you. You needn't both go. You go. After what he did to me, never. Yes, yes, let your friend go extinct, so. What's he waiting for? What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for Godo. What exactly should he do? Well, to begin with, he should pull on the rope as hard as he likes, so long as he doesn't strangle him. He usually responds to that. If not, he should give him a taste of his boot in the face and the privates, as far as possible. You see, you've nothing to be afraid of. It's even an opportunity to revenge yourself. And if he defends himself? Oh, no, he never defends himself. I'll come flying to the rescue. Don't take your eyes off me. Make sure he's alive before you start. No point in exerting yourself if he's dead. He's breathing. Then let him have it. Oh, the bruise! What's gone wrong now? What's gone wrong now? My friend, he's hurt himself. And lucky. So it is he. What? It is lucky. I don't understand. And you are Pazzo. Certainly I am Pazzo. The same as yesterday. 
Yesterday? We met yesterday, do you not remember? I don't remember having met anyone yesterday. But tomorrow I won't remember having met anyone today. So don't count on me to enlighten you. Yes, but... Enough! A pig! You were bringing him to the fair. To sell him. You spoke to us. He danced. He thought. You had your sight. As you please. Let me go! Up! He's getting up. He better. He's picking up his bags. Now he's all set. Whiff! Where do you go from here? No concern of mine. How changed you are. Whiff! What is there in the bag? Sand. On! Don't go yet. I'm going! On! What do you do when you fall far from help? We we'll wait till we can get up. Then we go on. On! Now, before you go, tell him to sing. Who? Lucky. To sing? Yes, or to think, or to recite. But he's dumb. Dumb? Dumb! He can't even grow. Dumb, since when? Have you not done tormenting me with your accursed time? It's abominable. When? When? One day. Is that not enough for you? One day he went dumb. One day I went blind. One day we'll go deaf. One day we were born. One day we shall die. The same day, the same second. Is that not enough for you? They give birth astride of a grave. The light gleams an instant. Then it's night once more. On! Why will you never let me sleep? I felt lonely. I was dreaming I was happy. That passed the time. I was dreaming Don't that... tell me. I wonder, is he really blind? Blind? Who? Would one truly blind say he had no notion of time? Who? Pazzo. 
He is blind. So he said. Well, what about it? It seems to me he saw us. You dreamt it? Let's go. We can't. Ah, yes. Are you sure it wasn't him? Who? Goddo. But who? Pozzo. Not at all. Well, I suppose I might as well get up. Ow! Ow! I don't know what to think anymore. My feet. Help me. Was I sleeping while the others suffered? Am I sleeping now? Tomorrow when I wake, or I think I do, what shall I say of today? That with Estragon, my friend, at this place until the fall of night I waited for Gado. That Pazzo passed with his carrier, and he spoke to us. Probably. But in all that, what truth will there be? He'll know nothing. He'll tell me about the blows he received. And I'll give him a carrot. A stride of a grave and a difficult birth down in the hole lingeringly the grave digger puts on the forceps we have time to grow old the air is full of our cries But habit is a great deadener. At me, too, someone is looking. Of me, too, someone is saying, he's sleeping. He knows nothing. Let him sleep on. Mr. Albert. Off we go again. Do you not recognize me? No, sir. It wasn't you came yesterday. No, sir. This is your first time. Yes, sir. You have a message from Mr. Gatto. Yes, sir. He won't come this evening. No, sir. But he'll come tomorrow. Yes, sir. Without fail. Yes, sir. Did you meet anyone? No, sir. Two other men. I didn't see anyone, sir.
What does he do, Mr. Gatto? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Well? He does nothing, sir. How's your brother? He is sick, sir. Perhaps it was he came yesterday. I don't know, sir. Has he a beard, Mr. Gatto? Yes, sir. Fair or, or black or red? I think it's white, sir. Christ, have mercy on us. What am I to tell Mr. Gatto, sir? Tell him, tell him that you saw me and that, that you saw me. You're sure you saw me. You won't come back again tomorrow and tell me that you never saw me. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm going. So am I. Was I long asleep? I don't know. Where shall we go? Not far. Oh, yes, let's go far away from here. We can't. Why not? We have to come back tomorrow. What for? To wait for Garda. Ah, oh, yes. He didn't come. No. And now it's too late. Yes. Now it's night. And if we dropped him? If we dropped him? He'd punish us. Everything's dead but the tree. What is it? It's the tree. Yes, but what kind? I don't know. A willow.
Why don't we hang ourselves? With what? You haven't got a bit of rope? No. Then we can't. Let's go. Wait, there's my belt. It's too short. Well, you could hang on to my legs. And who'd hang on to mine? True. Show all the same. It might do at a pinch. But is it strong enough? We'll soon see. Here. Not worth a curse. You say we have to come back tomorrow? Yes. Then we can bring a good bit of rope? Yes. Dee Dee? Yes. I can't go on like this. That's what you think. If we parted, that might be better for us. We'll hang ourselves tomorrow. Unless Gatto comes. And if he comes? We'll be saved. Well, shall we go? Pull on your trousers. What? Pull on your trousers. You want me to pull off my trousers? Pull on your trousers. Ah, yes. Well, shall we go? Yes, let's go.